Yeah. Good morning, everybody. As you can see on the screen right now, we have information about the Lucha Extreme Pro Wrestling event happening Sunday, January the 28th at the Hanford Civic Auditorium. Bell time is 2 p.m. Doors open at uh, 1 p.m. Lucha Extreme, folks. This is a professional wrestling event, live TV taping. And uh, as you can see also on that poster is the one and only Lucha Extreme ring announcer, Lena Gonzalez. Look at her on that poster. She looks like she's ready to not only give you the best ring announcements, but she might be ready to, uh, you know, fight somebody also at some point during the event. Lena Gonzalez is here, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Lena. Ah, there you are. What up, what up? <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing good. You know, we are uh, excited because uh, you and I have been talking about uh, this uh, Lucha Extreme event. Uh, now, tell me, give me a little update because... Last time we spoke, you were working on a couple things mm -hmm. to help improve the event. Tell me what you got going now. So, so far, we got the Chamber of Commerce to uh, approve alcohol. Ooh, beer okay. And snacks for purchase. Okay. And uh, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's a big improvement, <laughs> yeah, right? You guys I mean, you normally have not had this stuff? No, we've had it once before. Gotcha. And it was good. Okay. Yeah, people really enjoy themselves with that. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So so the good thing is is that Lucha Extreme is happening uh, this Sunday. Now, um, is there a reason why you guys are doing it at 2 o'clock? Um, to do it a little bit earlier and because I believe WWE's... Royal Rocky. Rumble. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. So. so for a professional wrestling fan, this is like a big deal. Yeah. Because it, let's just say if you live in Hanford and you're, let's say, a fan of the WWE and you know that the Royal Rumble is this Sunday and it starts at like 7 p.m. or something like that, um, not only do you get to watch wrestling in your hometown, but then you get to go home and watch the WWE pay-per-view. Yeah, so it's like we're like a pre-warm-up. Yeah, it's like the pre-show. Yeah, pre-show. I like it. Yeah. It's going. No, I like it. I like it. I think that's really cool. So, um, man, you know what? An idea just struck into my head, but... I'm going to hold it for off the oh, air. I'm a little scared. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so so uh, let me ask you a question. Something that we didn't ask last time, and I felt like we asked a lot of questions last time. Okay. <laughs> but the Lucha Extreme is the local professional wrestling here, but you guys have had some of your wrestlers move up to, to, the, to the bigger ranks too, right? Um, in the past, yes. I okay, so, so they've mm -hmm. definitely crafted some of the stars that we see now, mm -hmm. like on TV. Yes. Now, do you talk to a lot of the wrestlers that are uh, currently a part of Lucha Extreme? Like, do you know them personally or not? I haven't met them. Not yet. Gotcha. Yeah, but we're still working on crafting them and sending them out anyways, you know? I mean, even I have the opportunity to do that. So I haven't had any, like, personal connection with any of them, though. But, I've heard about them. But you will say that see, seeing some of their talent, you will say that these are guys that could eventually be in the WWE Oh, one day. yeah. We have some really good talent. And they're young. They listen. They're They're... They're, they know what to get the to get how to get the crowd going, and I think they can make it far. Now, were you originally a wrestling fan? When I was younger, but not really. Um, being in the business is what's got me to be more involved. But because I get to see it firsthand, I really do appreciate it now. What makes you appreciate it now? Like, what is it that that like that makes you go, man? I I have a passion for this now. Well, first of all, it's hard. I mean, as a trained athlete, it's it's amazing what they do. They can do backflips off the top rope. You, like, how do you even balance yourself on that? <laughs> like, I get scared going in and out of the ring on the stairs and hills. I'm like, I, I can't imagine trying to do front flips and stuff yeah, because like that in like, there. Like, the ring, it's like, a lot of people think it's like a trampoline. Yeah. No, it's not. We, we make it. With, I mean, they build it. Oh, no way. Yeah, it's and like it's like metal frame and, and yeah, everything, metal right? metal frames, wood. So when these guys are landing on this thing, it, it's got to hurt their backs yes. and stuff. Yes, and if I'm in there and they're doing jumpings like while I'm announcing, and if they jump or you know do something dramatic in there, like I bounce up and down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is a little weird, a little, little ring sick. <laughs> Man, okay, so let's talk about the event again. Sunday, January 28th, it's going to be happening at 2 p.m. They're doing it a little earlier because obviously the WWE has their big Royal Rumble event happening that evening, which mm -hmm. is great because this is, this is gonna, the, the, the pre-show to the WWE's big event. Uh, let's talk about who's going to be involved, who's there on the poster right now. Let's see who's, uh, who's on here. But hold on one second. Let me post the poster up real quick first. All right. Now, 
tell us who's on this poster right now. You have the heavyweight champion, uh, Sergeant Major, and his number one competitor, that's Jordan Calder McCall, that's next to Sergeant, that's looking directly into his eyes. Okay. Then you have Kevin Duckett, the one with all the tattoos and the headband, that's the one who has like the biggest crush on me. Yeah, we're going to get to that too, mm -hmm. all right? <laughs> and then you have um, the gorgeous Scary Galaxy, and um, I wonder what his zodiac sign is. <laughs> because he's like really into the galaxy. And then you have um, Shaggy McLovin. And he's a great wrestler as well. And Shaggy McLovin, he actually comes out with a skateboard, yes, right? Yes, he uses it too. Oh, he uses yeah, it on the guys? He's wild. Those, those boys are from Vegas, so they're a little wild. That's the Sin City boys right there. <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. Okay. So, all right. Now let's get to this. Kevin Duckett's. <laughs> this guy ha seems to have some type of an obsession with you. Yes. Now, this Kevin Duckett's guy, uh, you know, would, would a, a pro wrestler be on your radar as to be someone that you would even be interested in? That's a tough business. It is. It's. It would be hard because I'm not really interested in anybody I work with. Uh. <laughs> I've just always been like that in any job I've ever had. Even like at Lowe's when I worked at Lowe's, I didn't want to date a coworker. So I don't want to make it like personal, but... I can't blame him for having a crush on me. So you're putting that coworker <laughs> on blast from the past, huh? <laughs> <Keep> them, no. <laughs> no, but you know you're right, because let's just say you get into a relationship with a coworker, right? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, now it starts getting a little tricky because now you're around each other a lot at work. You don't really have a lot of space in between anymore, and then it's uh, you can't really relax anymore like you used to mm -hmm. at work and only focus on things you're focusing on. Because you, then you start thinking about your coworker and their thing. You know, it's just it's tricky. Yes. And then what happens when you break up? Then it becomes even more awkward. And then it's more awkward because I usually don't care, and they care. And they're like, why don't you care? No, but then what I'm saying is you got to be around each other exactly. at work. And I show that I don't care, so they're going to be mad all the time. Oh. Because, and I'm really friendly, and it's like um, when I talk to people, I'm naturally like, hey, babe, what's up? You know, I'm mean, a bartender on the weekends. I just I naturally talk to people with compassion, and sometimes people aren't cool with that, so I just avoid it. So, yeah, I mean, I think we're giving a good advice, though, right now is to mm -hmm. say, hey, for people out there, if you want to date your coworker, go right ahead and do it. But we've seen statistics, we've seen things that have happened that say don't do it. Exactly. <laughs> don't do it. And I don't want my job on the line like that. I actually no, love working yeah. with Lucha Extreme. No, you're right. So Kevin Duckett's stay away from our girl Lena. I know, God. Stay away. Stop posting on my Facebook. Though. Like seriously. <laughs> leave her alone. You know? And on top of that, you're not even a champion. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, our girl Lena here deserves a champion if you're going to, like, date her. You know That's what I true. mean? So uh, I'm glad that, you know, uh, you are the ring announcer because I feel like you're almost becoming a little bit of a brand ambassador for Lucha Extreme. I think so, too. Do you feel like that's evolving for you? That's kind of like a natural thing for me. It's like no matter where I go, I represent it to the fullest. I, I will not work anywhere that I don't want to be. So if I'm excited, if I'm working somewhere, like if I'm working with you, Eggs, Bacon, and Joy, then I will be representing Eggs, Bacon, and Joy all mm. the time. You know, we've had some people uh, message us about our uh, past segments, mm -hmm. and they're like, you need to get Lena on the show. She needs to be like a co-host or part-time co-host. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. I'm the star. <laughs> it says eggs, bacon, and Joey. It, uh, there's there's no like... room well, for a Lena in there. I have there. good news, though. Jay. Oh, okay. Okay, so growing up in high school, I developed the name Lena Mac. Okay. Okay, don't ask any questions. <laughs> oh, man, here we go. And then as I got older, it got cheesy, so it was a macaroni. <laughs> so they can have eggs, bacon, and macaroni on Lena the side. macaroni? <laughs> eggs, wow. Bacon, and macaroni for okay. <laughs> wow. Wow, that just happened right now. Wow. It's like we're meant to be. Yeah, you know, I just, I feel like, you know, I've had, been, and I don't know if this is uh, maybe some of your hardcore fans that you got out there, but I must have had about 10 messages. Hey. We want Lena, more, on, more Lena, more Lena. I'm like, I meet okay. friends everywhere I go. I'm like, look, let me let me work out some details with Lena. She's got a schedule too. She's got a life. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if Lena wants to come on occasionally, and we don't necessarily just have to talk Lucha Extreme, we can talk like what we just talked about, coworkers dating or whatever might be the case. Lena can come in. And I'd be more than happy to. I need so, the experience. So, and we're doing this live on the air right now. So, you know, you're you're getting a in-depth look into the behind the scenes on how to how a deal happens. Yep. We just, we're, we're right now negotiating, Lena and I. But Lena, you're a busy girl, though. You got school. You said you're working at Adolfo's? I work at Adolfo's on the Adolfo's, weekend. that's mm -hmm. in Lemoore, right? Yes. And Adolfo's is off the freeway. Yes. 
right off the freeway. But it's kind of like hidden to the corner. Uh, it's Yes, it's connected to another store, which is crazy because it's next to 7-Eleven. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. All right. So it's like in between a, a liquor store and 7-Eleven. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the, li the owner owns the liquor store and the bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> there, and that's a good idea. Yeah. Go drink at the bar and then truck in the front. take some home with you. Yeah. <laughs> I love so it. it does, yeah. uh, and then, uh, so then you got school, you got Adolfo's, and then you go to Lucha Extreme. Lucha Extreme, uh -huh. And then there was something else. Um, I'm a single parent. No, there was another job I thought you mentioned for oh, this juicers. Uh, um, juicers. Yes, brand okay. ambassador for juicers. So, man, I yeah. mean, you're busy. I'm busy. But you like it. I love it. It's I wake up with a purpose every morning. So, uh, you know, for you, is it a matter of right now you feel like you have a purpose in life to just go out there and grab every opportunity possible every opportunity possible that works for me yes what's your ultimate goal um i don't even know i i yeah i don't know i think that's why i have so many different mm. things going on mm. i think you're the type of person that will fall into your goal yes I you think know what i happening. mean mm -hmm. i think and i think it's happening now because now being the ring announcer lucha extreme it's brought you, brought your attention to us, yes. you know, and mm -hmm. you've had an opportunity to now to show your kind of mic skills here on the radio and TV. Uh, so I think you're the type of person that you're you're on the right path. You're obviously hustling and working hard. Yes, Single sir. mother, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. working hard for your beautiful daughter. Um, and eventually you're going to find some great success. And yes. I see it in you. That's what I'm working on. All right. So I'm once again, on. Lucha Extreme, Sunday, January 28th. And Lena has been cool enough to bring us three VIP ringside tickets, folks. Three of these. Not one, not two. Not three. one, not two. These are VIP meet. Oh, hold on. Mm -hmm. VIP ringside and meet and greet. Yes, inside the ring. Are you kidding? Nope. They get to actually fill the ring and go inside? Yeah, they get to go inside. And oh, meet my the gosh. The Lucha Stars, and we'll be taking pictures and... These are $25 values mm -hmm. uh, for these tickets. So $75. Lucha Extreme uh, Wrestling Entertainment is providing to us. I want to thank you so much for these. You're welcome. What we're going to do is we're going to give these away uh, starting tomorrow and Friday uh, to a lucky listener that wants these tickets. We're going to do one tomorrow, okay? And we'll give you a heads up on when we're going to do it. And then we'll do the other two on Friday to kind of give another big push mm -hmm. to the Sunday event. So, uh, once again, VIP ringside of Mean Green tickets, the only way to win those uh, are right here on the Eggs, Bacon, and Joey Morning Show. Man, this is going to be awesome. Look at that. VIP. VIP? I mean, there's nothing better than going to an event and being VIP. Yes, that's true. You don't have to wait. You know, you know, on top of that, you get to meet the people that are performing. Yes, and you get to hang out with us. <laughs> do you get autographs, too? Or can you bring stuff to, for them to autograph? Or Yeah, yeah, we do autographs. Okay, so yeah. like if I brought like a T-shirt or something, they'll autograph yes. it for me? All yes, right, cool. and anybody who purchases VIP tickets gets a free T-shirt when they get to the show. You got a Lucha Extreme shirt yeah. on. Can I see it? Let, hold on, let me see. Let me pull <laughs> this uh, graphic it? off here. Let's see. Okay, Lucha Extreme. This That's a cool shirt. Yes. And it has like wings in the back. It's cute. Are you guys selling this or? We sell them, but when you when you purchase a VIP ticket, you get one for free. Oh. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute. Exciting. So not only do you do you get these tickets listening to the Eggs, Bacon, and Joey Morning Show, but because you have this ticket, you're going to get that shirt. You get to look cute like me. That is a cool <laughs> shirt. I mean, I would wear that around town. That's for sure. I have two of them. I have one that's like cute and then i have a bigger one that i use when i'm comfortable wow all mm -hmm. right lena gonzalez i have another interview uh here this morning or else i'd keep you on here for the rest of the Aww. show but uh we can't do that today <laughs> all right uh and all you hardcore lena fans stop messaging me we'll, we'll find a We're chance to get her back on okay relax <laughs> Jeez. all right lena gonzalez always a pleasure of course thank you so much Bye, eggs guys. bacon and joey stay with us folks do not go anywhere we'll be right